This short video explains the training plots that are reported as part of your deep learning training on Appear. Your input data for training is split into two datasets. One is used to train the model and the other used as ground truth for validation. In these plots, the blue line represents the results from the training data and the orange line represents the validation data. These plots show loss, accuracy, and IOU, which stands for intersection over union. All of these as a function of epoch number. An epoch is when the training sees all your training data and the total number of epochs for your training depends on various factors, including the size of your data. Let us start by looking at the loss curves. The goal of deep learning algorithm is to minimize a loss function that reflects the error between the prediction and the ground truth that you provided. For a good model training, the loss curves trend downward for each epoch and eventually flatten out. Accuracy is a metric that our deep learning algorithm uses to assess the quality of model during training. This should trend upward, indicating that the model quality is indeed improving. And accuracy does not provide information on the quality of segmentation for each of the classes and background in your images. IOU, which again stands for intersection over union, is recommended to better assess the quality of semantic or instance segmentation. And similar to accuracy, IOU is expected to trend upwards as a function of number of epochs. These curves may look smooth or bumpy as it depends on the quality and quantity of your training data. So please look at the overall trend rather than occasional jumps between epochs. Now let's have a quick look at a few training curves. Here is how your training curves may look. In this example, both training and validation curves are close by in all the plots, and this is highly acceptable. And here is another example that also shows both curves closely aligned, both in accuracy and also IOU. In this example, the validation curve is below the training curve for accuracy and IOU. And this is expected based on the loss curve, where it's evident that the validation loss is higher compared to the training loss. Although it may appear that the validation accuracy is less than the training accuracy, please note that the scale on both are about 0.87 or 87%. And finally, in this example, the plots are very noisy but show a general trend upward for accuracy and IOU. And also note that the model got trained for over 4,000 epochs. These plots represent training information from a very small dataset of only 12 images and 150 total objects. Understanding the training plots may help you with better interpretation of your results. Thank you.